What's up my quesadillas? There's a guy around my age, also mixed race, and one of the few who has been on YouTube as long as I have. His name is Sneeko. He often talks about society, standards, different dualities like men and women. He amassed over 1 million subscribers on his main channel and grew close to 1 million subscribers on his second channel before he got banned like a first aid kit. 2 million subscribers with nowhere to go. I wonder where they can turn to. Hmm. I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. I asked the quesadillas on Instagram if they watch Sneeko and if they do, why? Here's the answers. Okay, maybe my Instagram quesadillas don't watch Sneeko, but in my analytics it used to say that Sneeko was one of the channels I shared viewers with. So as the kind man that I am, I thought maybe all those lost souls could find refuge here. I'm saying that I provide a replacement for a niche that you may find rare on this website. An authentic artist who speaks his mind. Correct? In fact, I'll dig in for entertainment purposes. I am more authentic than Sneeko. Yeah, now we cooking. The onions are on the pan. The bagel is in the toaster. The women are in the kitchen, and I say that unapologetically because it's a joke. It'd be even more offensive if I said it apologetically because I said it anyway, so I might as well serve the disrespect done well. Saying an offensive joke apologetically is like making a horror movie without the suspense. Back on topic, I'm more authentic than Sneeko. Perhaps that is why he found much greater success than I as what is popular often does not equate to truth. Don't get me wrong, I think he is authentic and always has been. But then again, who isn't? I'm pretty sure every single human being on earth thinks they're themselves. Then the question becomes, who are you? That is a question I believe to have figured out on a deeper level than Sneeko. What Sneeko has done is build himself up an identity that is of a truth teller whereas i am the truth he plays the messenger i play the message he can only speculate the truth and feel conviction through talks of a society worse off than him because he has never totally recognized the truth. We're very polarizing in the way we approached YouTube. So, you know what? Maybe I'm not a fit replacement for Sneeko, but if you watched him for the truth, here it is. Ta da! It's not a big deal. Or maybe it is. I heard him say on his live streams that people don't want to hear the truth while claiming to speak the truth and having 1 million subscribers. So some ain't adding up. Either he doesn't speak the truth or people do want to hear the truth. I think it's the former. He's right. People don't want to hear the truth, but he's not proof of that. I am. I'm proof of that. I just am. I'm the real truth. It's not flashy. It doesn't help me get girls. It doesn't get clicks. Ideology is really neat because it's a way for the self to exist while claiming to be selfless. And although he may be a unique case, he's still just like 99.99% .99 of people and grew into an ideology. I don't know why I didn't. I guess I was infected with the disease of reality but in that space where an ideology would take place is an empty void of possibilities. But it's not tangible. It's not something everyone can agree on or rally behind. So it's not good for business. But that emptiness is where the truth is. It's you. I'll end this video by saying 
that I don't think were different coins as much as were different sides of the same coin. While Sneeko went bottom up, I went top down. His YouTube journey went into society, external, and he found power. Mine went into myself, internal, and found love, which is the same thing. I've grown up alongside this kid throughout my time on this platform, and it's a shame that this happened. YouTube lost a bit of vitality with this ban. Godspeed, Sneeko. Godspeed.